The 3D model, when it was created, has dimensions that were added in sketches and features to determine the part's size and shape. As we saw in a previous lesson, I had the option to mark dimensions for drawings on this button here while creating the part. One method of dimensioning a drawing is to import these dimensions from the 3D model. These dimensions, once they're imported into the drawing, are driving dimension. As we learn, this means that they can be changed in the drawing and reflect the changes back to the model. So how do we import these dimensions from the model into the drawing? Well, to do this, select Model Items. Here in the Property Manager, you can select the types of dimensions, annotations, or reference geometry that can be brought over from the 3D model. In this case, I'll only select dimensions that were marked for the drawing to import. Here are options which help control the appearance of the dimensions that will be imported. The first allows me to specify whether dimensions should be imported into all drawing views on the sheet. If I only want to bring dimensions in for one view, I can clear this checkbox and select which view the dimensions will appear. I can select one or more views in this window, and only those listed will be considered when importing dimensions. In this case, I'll import dimensions into all views. The next option controls whether dimensions of items that are completely hidden will be imported. By default, this checkbox is cleared, and for most applications, you'll want to leave it that way. As soon as I click OK, all dimensions that were marked for the drawing will be brought over from the model. You can see how quickly a drawing can be dimensioned this way. But also notice, it's a bit messy and difficult to read. This can be fixed by moving dimensions and changing their appearance. To move a dimension, you simply click on it and drag it around the screen. Notice that when I click on a dimension, it becomes highlighted. And here in the Property Manager, I can see the properties that correspond to it. I can use these properties to change the precision of the dimension, or to add a tolerance if necessary, or a number of other options specific to this dimension's appearance. I can also use these dots to change the direction of the arrows. If I right-click the dimension, you'll see there are display options. These allow me to do things like center the text between witness lines or display the text within parentheses. One more option that may be useful is here at the bottom of the Property Manager. It's here in these fields where I can add notes to a dimension. For example, typical or four times to specify a quantity. If you want to move a dimension from one drawing view to another, you can do this by holding down the Shift key while dragging it to another drawing view, and the dimension will be moved. Another option is to copy the dimension or any other type of annotation from one drawing view to another by holding down the Control key. The cursor will give you feedback if a move or copy from one drawing view to another is possible or not. If you need to get rid of a dimension, just click on it and press Delete on your keyboard. Note that although these are driving dimensions, deleting them from the drawing will not affect the 3D model.